This is your content warning. Caution. This video contains moments of extreme campiness and effective use of a sniper rifle as it was meant to be used. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Uggs here, and that is such a fail. Oh well, move on. Let's get this thing going. So, um, yeah, uh, this video may seem a bit campy to uh, some of you. Uh, for some of you, this may seem like a, a really good gameplay, which I hope that's everybody. But, um, yeah, uh... I found I okay I started playing Call of Duty in Modern Warfare 2 terminal was one of my favorite maps mainly because uh, you can snipe down the hallway which my view is intersecting right now uh, I didn't find this exact spot up until uh, Modern Warfare 3 which is kinda weird akimbo headshots and uh, I love this spot and uh, you're gonna see why throughout this game. Uh, if I had uh, a Claymore or a Betty on, it would have been even better for me in this spot. But I'm I don't even I don't even have that yet. I don't think. Um, okay, on to uh, that's enough about the gameplay. Let's uh, let's go on to some real stuff. Um, I am not exactly a social butterfly. And uh, a lot of you may find that weird because, but like, Uggs, you're, you know, you're like a personality on YouTube. You, you do all these things. You tell people about your life and stuff like that. And all of that is true, but there is a there's a great deal of anonymity. You know, the the person that I am on YouTube is not exactly always the person that I am in real life. In real life, I am no social butterfly by any means. I'm 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 guarded because uh in my life I have been betrayed by pretty much everybody who I ever like uh get close to me. So I I put up my walls, you know, and I kind of I kind of stand too, uh, and I'm trying to change that. I'm actively trying to change that. Like tonight, um, I just got back from hanging out with a group of friends from work. We went out. We went, you know, bar hopping and all this stuff. And you know, I, me being the person that I am, I'm the caretaker. That's my. That's kind of like my personality. I'm the caretaker. I make sure everybody is taken care of. So. When I go out with a group of friends, I stay sober, and I'm always the designated driver. And in doing that, you go, yeah, that's great. You know, you're you're responsible. And you know, you're a really good friend. And but if you look at it, like, is it is it is it that I'm a really good friend, or is it just that people know that they're gonna have a safe ride home, so they invite me out? Like that's kind of it's kind of hard to tell, but, you know, I don't mind. I go out, you know, I have fun. You know, I was I was dancing with a couple of really, really good-looking ladies tonight. And, uh, you know, it felt good. It felt good to kind of, like, get out of my, my shell a little bit, you know, even if, even if only for a couple of hours. Uh, went out, had a really good time, and uh, everybody got home safe, you know. So... You know, tonight tonight wasn't uh, you know it wasn't like a everyday thing with me. It was it was really me going out of my way to try to change, you know, myself, and uh, I think it was a success. Like um, I think the people that I work with see me differently. They don't see me as it's uh, it's kind of weird because um, the people that I work with I have been tasked to kind of tell them where they mess up. I'm not a supervisor, I'm not a boss, I'm just kind of like, I point their errors out to them, which is really weird. So, I think people seeing me in a social setting kind of changed the way that they look at me. 
and I think that's a good thing. I want to I want to be more social. I want to get out more. I want to you know, I want to hang out with my friends more. I don't have a lot of friends and uh, the reason for that is is because I'm extremely loyal, but I'm very picky as to who I'm extremely loyal to. So it's hard for me to make friends with people that aren't of good character. But that's just me. Um, the game is over, so I'm going to quit talking to you. Uh, score is 31-2. and two. What? Sick. Yeah, I know. Anyway, it's been your boy Uggs. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you didn't, then don't worry about it. You know, leave a comment. Tell me... Tell me something about you guys. I want to hear about you. What what do you have going on in your life? What are you trying to change? What are you trying to keep the same? What what do you wish would go back to the way it was? You know, I just I just want to hear about you guys. Because uh you guys are watching the video, you're taking time out of your day to support me. And uh I want to show, you know, that like I always say, you guys aren't my subscribers, you guys are my friends. So just uh just let me know. Anyway, it's been your boy Uggs. Peace out.